Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here, another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing how to set up a home group in Windows 10. So a home group can be especially useful when you want to share pictures, documents, videos, etc. with other computers that are connected on your network. So home group will work across a variety of Windows operating system environments going all the way back to Windows 7. So you can join a home group that is connected to any of these desktop or laptop devices. So except for guest accounts, any user on a home group connected device will have access to the home group. So in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to set this stuff up and we're going to start by going over a couple disclaimers. So just to note if your PC is already part of a domain you can join a home group but you cannot create one as well as all the PCs must be synced with the correct time and date on your computers and you must have file and printer sharing enabled on the private network profile in order to make sure you can share all your files and printers and basically just make sure your computer is pretty open in order for your computer devices to connect through the network so with that out of the way let's just jump straight into it and we're going to start by heading over to the start button and we're going to type in home group should be listed right above the control panel so you want to left click on that so we see a little notification here saying to create or join a home group your computer's network location must be set to private now this is very good I'm glad that we're showing this in this tutorial so I will show you guys if you're getting this alert how to change that so left click on change network location so select yes so this will change our network location so we can see that there are no current home groups set up on the network which is perfect because in today's tutorial we're going to be going through how to create a home group so we're going to left click on create a home group at the bottom here a new dialog window will appear saying that you can share files and printers with other computers. You can also stream media to devices. This home group is protected with a password and you'll always be able to choose what you share. So left click on next. So at this point we can actually set what we want to share with other computers that are connected to our home group. So we see that by default it will share pictures, videos, and music as well as printers and devices but will not share documents. You can change any one of these settings between shared and not shared. It doesn't really matter. So at this point, once you've made all your selections, left click on next. So this password you better write down because this will be important if you want to join other computers to your home group. And it's very important that you keep track of that. So once you've done that, just left click on finish and we can see that our home group has been created. And at this point we can change different home group settings through here and we have a whole bunch of different options we could play around with. So I hope this brief tutorial helped you guys out and I will catch you in the next video. Goodbye.